Welcome to the 5D Academy of Higher Consciousness. I'm Zarathustra, and today we're going to talk about consciousness. Things appear and disappear on consciousness, and um, I will get into the depth of that. Yet all kinds of things appear and disappear on consciousness. Continuously, the dance of existence is going to be played. And when you're in a human body in this dimension, all kinds of stories are going to appear. Whether you're going through your own emotional process and emotions rising due to whatever is the story, you know, you've gone through some traumas in your childhood or even in your adulthood and things rising, it rises. It's just like waves rising in the ocean. A wave rises and it falls back into the ocean. And sometimes these waves, they look very dangerous. They look scary. It's very stormy and you're having all these ups and downs rising. But where do they go? No matter how big is the wave, let's say there's a wave rising and it's 20 meter and it's really frightening. And then where does it go back? It goes back into its source, where it came from. And no matter how stormy is the ocean, after a day or two or a few days or a month or whatever, at the end, you always see that it's at one, one point, the ocean is completely flat and it's very calm. And then you can experience that the waves are rising and falling. It's the rise and fall, rise and fall. So, and it's got these motions in it. But all of it is happening in the same ocean. So it's the same thing. Your thought starts to rise. It's the, all of a sudden there's the appearance. If you start to look at things differently, you know, word it differently and look at it differently like your thoughts, instead of identifying with your thoughts as they're your thoughts, okay? You can look at it and identify with it as the appearance of the appearance of the thoughts. It's like one day you wake up and you have a zit on your face and all of a sudden something appears a few different spots appeared on your face. So, and you tell yourself, you get up in the morning, go to the bathroom, you're looking at a mirror and say, oh my God, these things appeared on my face all of a sudden, or this weird thing appeared, uh, this dark thing appeared on my arm. I don't know what that is, but something all of a sudden shows up, yeah? And then, you know, of course, you're trying to put some ointment on it or do some treatments to get rid of it, but it appears and then eventually it disappears. And the same thing, thoughts appear. Where do they appear? They appear on consciousness. They appear on I am. They're appearing on this screen, this white screen that you're watching a movie and the thoughts appear in front of it. The same thing with emotions. They appear and they disappear. You don't always feel sad. You don't always experience 
anger. You're not continuously experiencing anxiety or fear. Something happens and all of a sudden stuff starts to bubble up. So a wave is coming. Wave is rising and falling back. So something appears and then it disappears. These are appearances on this white or this black screen, white screen, black screen, like if you go to the movie and then the movie, they turn on the projector and the movie starts to play and it's moving, it's a movie and it starts to appear for you. It's a story starts to be played. It could be a horror story, it could be a love story, it could be a fantasy, comedy, whatever. It appears and then after a couple of hours the movie ends. And then when the movie ends, it's over, it's time to leave the cinema. So they turn on all the lights and you look at the flat white screen that they were projecting the movie on and the flat white screen is same. Nothing has happened to it. And let's say you were watching a movie that there were some killing or some blood got spilled. People died, people killed each other, but there is no blood on the white screen. The white screen remains white. Even though during the time you were watching the movie, it was very dramatic. It was heartbreaking. But at the end, when the projector stops and they turn on the lights, you see that the screen the theater's screen remains white. Nothing's happened to it. Same thing, same thing with consciousness. The I am consciousness. Things appear and disappear on it. And you can see that with your own life. You can see your own body. And your body has appeared on the screen of this movie on consciousness. And this body is changing, always changing. It's moving. It's a movie. Your body is moving through different stages. It's a baby, then it's getting, goes to adolescent, it's a teenager, then it's an adult, then it starts to getting older. You can see it's moving, it's going transition. In front of your eyes, it's changing from one thing to another. And eventually it's time's gonna come to an end and it disappears. So it appears, it disappears. And that's the story of what is going on. And the same thing with, with everything else. You can see it with friends, family, they appear in your life. Sometimes you have these friends, you think you're gonna be with them forever. They're your best friends, you're inseparable, you can, they cannot separate you from each other. But eventually your friend gets married, wants to move to another country, wants to have their own family, own career, and you get separated. 